జయేష్ రంజన్ గారు ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ సెక్రటరీ గౌరవనీయులు అమెరికన్ కాన్సుల్ జనరల్ జోయల్ రైఫ్మన్ గారు గౌరవనీయులు నరసింహారెడ్డి గారు గౌరవనీయులు టీఎస్టీఎస్ చైర్మన్ జగన్మోహన్ రావు గారు జిటి వెంకటేశ్వరరావు గారు రమాదేవి గారు రామ్ ప్రసాద్ గారు ఇంకా వేదిక ముందున్న మన ఐటీ రంగానికి సంబంధించిన పరిశ్రమ ప్రతినిధులు అదేవిధంగా పాత్రికేయ మిత్రులు టు ఆల్ ద ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మీడియా అండ్ ఆల్ ద రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ ఆఫ్ వేరియస్ ఇండస్ట్రీ బాడీస్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ హైసియా మనీషా వి హ్యావ్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ ఆఫ్ నాస్కామ్ హ్యామ్ చామ్ వీ ఆల్సో హ్యావ్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ ఆఫ్ క్రెడాయి వీ ఆల్సో హ్యావ్ రిప్రజెంటేటివ్స్ ఆఫ్ వేరియస్ అదర్ బాడీస్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు అక్నాలెడ్జ్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఫర్ పార్టిసిపేటింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఈవెంట్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్లీ టు దోస్ ఆఫ్ యూ హూ హ్యావ్ నాట్ హూ ఐ హ్యావ్ నాట్ అక్నాలెడ్జ్ మై అపాలజీస్ ఇన్ అడ్వాన్స్ ఐ థింక్ యువర్ పార్టిసిపేషన్ ఇస్ వాట్ మేక్స్ దిస్ యూ నో kind of eclectic and beautiful thank you very much for joining us today um before i begin to talk about last year's numbers i would like to quickly thank you know the entire team of it department i think they and and the entire industry of course i think for uh, doing a stellar job over the last 8 years i think all of us together have uh, been able to ensure that hyderabad and the flag of telangana kept flying very high over the last 8 years so i think my entire team deserves a huge round of applause and to jayesh and the entire team i my compliments to all of you for working really hard and working especially through the pandemic i think where uh, lots of people were uncertain lots of people were not uh, sure of what lied in store and uh, my team was just a text message away just a whatsapp message away and we were able to respond promptly address lot of issues work with you work together with the industry in ensuring continuity of services uh, without any disruptions now as most of you know i think last 8 years especially since we are reaching the 8th year tomorrow after the formation of the state of telangana most of these 8 years we have interacted number of times and i'm sure most of you will agree that uh, it has been a very symbiotic synergistic and congenial kind of engagement with the industry that's how we've seen the industry grow prosper create employment opportunities create wealth for the state and also grow in terms of numbers in fact last year has nothing has has, has been nothing short of stellar uh, it is like jayesh ranjan said it has surpassed even our expectations for the year 212222 20, telangana has had a phenomenal growth in the it and it enabled services sector with an increase of 26.14% in the IT ITEs exports which is an astounding number which is an astounding number the previous year's numbers uh, back in 2021 were 145522 crores in terms of exports from telangana but this year we have reached a total of 183569 crores which i think is an extremely impressive figure but what's even more impressive if you ask me is the number of uh, employees that have been added in this sector over the last one year and remember let me remind you this was in the middle of a pandemic when people were working from home when um, there were a lot of apprehensions about people losing jobs etc employment in the it ites sector has increased by nearly 24% 23.78 to be precise and i think uh, this is extremely impressive uh, because you know nearly 1 lakh 49506 and almost 1.5 lakh new jobs were added during 21 22 now just to give you a sense of uh, a comparison as to how well telangana has done compared to the rest of the country i think i'll just give you those figures as per the estimates of nascom over the last one year approximately 450000 new jobs have been added in the country out of which 150000 have been added in hyderabad so one third of new jobs in the country i think uh, coming from hyderabad is not a mean achievement is not a mean feat and also let me point out another thing you know i just told you i just mentioned that telangana grew at 26% 26.14% over the last year in terms of it exports i also have to compare it to the national average of course the national average also includes our numbers but the national average national export average uh, is at about 17.2% so 
So Telangana is almost 9% above the national export average, which goes to show you how well we have performed over the last one year. Let me also just quickly uh, give you another reference point so that you can appreciate and understand how well Telangana has performed. In 2014, on the 2nd of June, when the state was formed, the IT exports from Telangana were at about 57,258 crores. So we have grown more by more than 300 percent, more than three times, 57,258 then to 1,83,000. 83,569 now, which I think is tremendous and uh, I think it is definitely something that you will all appreciate. Let me also tell you the numbers in terms of how, how many people were directly employed in the IT sector back in 2014. Back in 2014, the total employment in the IT sector, direct jobs, was 3,23,397. But now, after this latest report that has come out, it is about 7,78,121. So nearly, nearly 4.54 lakh new jobs have been added in the last eight years. So that, that again is a humongous growth over the last eight years. Of course, um, you know, we, in fact, uh, there was an estimate uh, as per the, uh, you know, um, United AP back in the day in 2014, we were expected to reach IT exports as a United State of 2,9,000 crores by 2035. 2,9,000 crores of IT exports by 2035. Even the, I think even the mic system appreciates it. <laughs> Is it working? Am I audible? Yeah. Okay, good. Glad. So the export figures were expected to reach 2,9,000 crores as a United Andhra Pradesh by 2035, 13 years from now. But we are already, sorry? The, I, as per the ITIR estimate, you know, the ITIR when it was formulated by the UPA government back in 2013, they had estimated that this number would be 2,9 thousand crores by 2035. But we are 13 years away from uh, uh, 2035, and I can proudly tell you that uh, we are almost there. So I think uh, that goes to show you the kind of growth and without any ITIR, by the way, without any ITIR support or without any ITIR scheme, um, which, is, which is unbelievably impressive. The more important thing is the ITIR projections assumed a national GDP growth of 6% uh, and optimistically about 7.5% uh, when considering these numbers. But I think uh, even though the country's GDP growth has slowed down, Telangana with its uh, you know, kind of aggressive growth has been able to achieve these numbers. So I think uh, my... Compliments to the entire industry for performing extremely well, to HICIA, to NASCOM, to all the chambers of commerce who are gathered here. My compliments to all of you on your fantastic growth story, to the representatives from BFSI sector, to the representatives from uh, mobility sector, to the representatives from other industry vectors who are already here. And more, impre more importantly, you know, from my personal viewpoint, I think what's even more important from the state's perspective, is an all-around holistic development. Now, that can only happen when we continue to grow in other areas other than the western part of Hyderabad. To that effect, uh, you know, our, our, I'll, I'll come to the details in a bit, but I'm really, really happy and really excited about the kind of waves uh, new companies and new technology, uh, you know, enterprises are being, are, are coming forward, in fact, are coming forward with a lot of enthusiasm for opportunities in Warangal, in Karim Nagar, in Mahabub Nagar, in Nalgonda, in Khammam, and more recently in Adilabad, and even in Ramagundam. So all of these actually are going to keep us in good stead in terms of what we can offer to our children. In fact, before I came onto the podium here, I had a quick, uh, you know, five-minute chat with uh, both Damodar and, uh, you know, Raj from uh, TechWave. There's a very interesting, uh, so they made some very interesting comments. They said, we have started hiring from Triple IT Basar, and we see that you know these children actually do not need as much training as we assumed or we imagined they would. Firstly, and secondly, they said uh, attrition's are really lower compared to a Hyderabad or a Bangalore in a Tier Two town. And more importantly, these youth working from their comfort zone will keep them you know more productive and uh, more loyal. 
to our enterprises is what they felt. So my compliments, guys. I think that's a great uh, uh, analysis. And I do believe very strongly that this is what, uh, you know, is going to propel us into the next, uh, you know, next orbit of uh, growth. Now, just, uh, just to name a few marquee investments that have come in over the last one year. Goldman Sachs, as you all know, is, a, is an investment uh, banking giant, entered Hyderabad, and they have very aggressive plans to grow to almost 2,500 in about three years. And I think it's an extremely important addition to the BFSI sector. While there are others, uh, like Ramesh pointed out, who need to join the club, I think uh, Goldman Sachs joining us is, of course, a welcome addition. Now, consumer electronics manufacturer, um, OnePlus, again, a very popular electronics company, has made uh, you know, a debut in India through Hyderabad, making Hyderabad as a hub for making smart TVs. Uh, about 500 employees are currently involved in the production, and they're on their way to actually distributing 1 million smart televisions. The world's leading open innovation platform, called as Plug and Play, has also set up its center in Hyderabad, and I'm extremely proud uh, that they've done it in a record time after our meeting in France. They opened their office in high tech city for catalyzing the growth of automotive startups in the city in partnership with uh, startup Autobahn in Stuttgart, Germany. Mass Mutual, our dear friend Ravi Tangirala has been very kind. Um, a global leader in insurance services has inaugurated a 2,000 employee facility in Nanak Ramguda. Stellantis, which is a Fiat Chrysler Peugeot setup, uh, they have set up a digital presence and expanded its Hyderabad operations, targeting nearly 2,200 jobs by 2024. Again, a huge addition to the mobility sector, like uh, Pradeep was pointing out. I think it's an extremely important uh, addition, and I'm delighted that uh, they are shaping up really well. Genpact, we're thankful to you guys you know, for laying the foundation for its campus in Upal, a mega campus, in fact, 2.2 million square foot uh, facility with 15,000 new jobs in the Eastern Corridor. corridor. I think uh, that augurs very well for the all-round growth that has been envisioned by our Honorable Chief Minister for the city of Hyderabad and for Telangana at large. Also, as a commitment to government's grid policy, growth in dispersion policy, a foundation stone was also laid recently, and it will start, uh, the construction will be started soon, for a 1 million square foot uh, gateway IT park in Kanlakoya, in the northern part of Hyderabad. Good to see that, uh, you know, Venkat of Lassia is here, and uh, I'm delighted that uh, Kitia, which is Kompali Area IT Association, they have come forward. Nearly 200 companies have already applied for space, and I'm very confident that with Venkat and, you know, others from Kitia also working closely with us, we'll actually uh, have to build more in that part of uh, the town as well. And I'm sure most of you have followed this news. American multinational uh, Qualcomm, again, has announced its largest campus outside the U.S. in Hyderabad, which will be operational. It's a 1.6 million square foot campus, which will be operational by October 2022. And this, uh, of course, joins the big league. You know, Qualcomm joins now the big league that Joel mentioned. Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, uh, Uber, Salesforce, Micron, ServiceNow, the list goes on. It's, it's, a, it's a huge list of marquee companies whose second largest base in the world is right here. In fact, Amazon's world's largest campus, I'm also happy to share with you, is actually in Hyderabad, not in Seattle. Um, let me also add that Bosch, a German MNC and a world leader in mobility, an industrial and engineering home appliances company, has also chosen Hyderabad as a strategic location with its Bosch global software technologies and R&D presence. They've started their office in high-tech city and will employ about 3,000 people working on technologies such as cloud, uh, AI, OT, uh, sorry, AIoT, Art, um, uh, Internet of Things, ML, AI, cyber, and embedded security. The groundbreaking was also done for Google's largest campus outside of their HQ headquarters in Mountain View, California, uh, a 3.3 million square foot energy efficient campus. The groundbreaking is done, and now they're on their way to build a large campus with sustainable standards. Grid Dynamics, another very interesting company, a digital transformation company with offices across the U.S. and Europe, has also announced to open its first presence in India with a headcount of nearly 1,000 by the end of this year. Government of Telangana has also entered into a MOU with Hyundai recently uh, at uh, Davos to 
uh, you know, uh, enter to basically be a part of uh, one of its kind of Telangana Mobility Valley at Zahirabad. Hyundai will be investing about 1,400 crore of rupees into this facility. German automotive major ZF also has announced its largest engineering and R&D facility with over 3,000 employees. In fact, this will be their largest center in the world, uh, anywhere in the world, uh, with about 3,000 employees in Nanakram Guda, Hyderabad, and ZF will be a major part also of Telangana Mobility Valley. This facility is among, like I said, uh, the 100 odd software development centers and 18 major centers in the world, but this will be the largest of, of theirs in the world. Fisker, another very interesting and happening electric vehicle manufacturer of, from the United States, uh, when we visited US recently, has announced its software development center first uh, in India, in high tech city area, and uh, they will be launching it soon as well. Callaway Golf, another large global American sports equipment manufacturer company, has also set up its software center, which I, uh, myself and Jayesh Ranjan have inaugurated recently. So you can see an eclectic group, you know, companies in mobility, companies in insurance services, uh, companies in financial services, companies uh, also in sporting equipment, manufacturing, automobiles, electric vehicles, and also interestingly, um, digital transformation, etc. All of them making Hyderabad as their base and one of the largest bases in the world. I'm delighted with the kind of growth we've had over the last one year. Now, tier two towns as well, as I was pointing out, in Warangal, both Softpath and Quadrant have started their own operations. And um, in fact, Quadrant Resources is in the process of building its own campus, just like uh, Scient, and I am hopeful that it will be completed by the end of this year. Uh, both Genpact and Mindtree also have scheduled their, tier, their operations for Warangal this year. So both Genpact and also Mindtree will be opening their offices and campuses this year in Warangal. Other tier two towns uh, such as Nizamabad and Mehboob Nagar and Siddipet, uh, all of them, you know, the plug and play facility that the government has invested in. We're building um, plug and play facilities where, uh, you know, companies can move in and start working. All of them will be ready by October 2022. And, uh, you know, an IT tower is also being built in Nalgonda, which will be unveiled sometime next year. What we are also proud of is not, the, the, not just the expansion in the traditional technology space, in emerging technologies, several institutions and several initiatives have also been grounded in Telangana, making us the preferred destination for emerging technology companies as well. Space time, space, uh, space time framework in space technology, National Center for Additive Manufacturing in uh, Osmania University have been launched recently. Medicine from the sky, you know, for driving adoption of drones in healthcare logistics also has been launched by the government last year. Hara Bhara, an initiative uh, to basically use uh, seed copters, first aerial seeding project in partnership with a Hyderabad based startup called as Marud Drones was also launched. Sagu Bagu, a flagship agri-tech project in partnership with the World Economic Forum has also been launched here. AI-based uh, pest management for cotton deployed with 3,105 lead farmers and 653 agriculture extension officers from six major cotton growing districts has also been launched. Our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K.C. Argaru, keeps reminding us that any technology which does not have a positive societal impact is futile, no matter how cool it is, no matter how fancy it is, it is futile unless it has a strong positive societal impact. So therefore, as you can tell, in health, in agriculture, and other important sectors for the state, and especially those uh, that touch the lives of common man on a day-to-day -day basis, on the man on the ground on a day-to-day -day basis, have been the focus of our department. So we are working very closely with agriculture department. We're working very closely with the health uh, department. We're also working very closely with other line departments to ensure that you know artificial intelligence initiatives, blockchain initiatives, and cybersecurity initiatives have also are also created for the benefit of the citizens at large. Another very important um, achievement for the state has been electronic service delivery and the Telangana State Technological Services. Our ESD currently delivers 600 plus services offered through the 4,500 plus me seva centers serving 2.6 crore citizens 
per annum, handling transactions worth rupees 4,500 crores. Telangana is number two, um, you know, in e-transactions per population in the country after Lakshadweep. Of course, Lakshadweep is a very, very small entity. Um, you know, as per the transactions recorded between June 2014 and May 2022, after Lakshadweep, Telangana stands number two. Several e-governance initiatives were created, including T-App Folio, T-Wallet, real-time digital authentication of identity, pensioners' life certificate through selfie, RTA Fest for the transport department services. Recently, when I was in the World Economic Forum at Davos, when I mentioned the fact that RTDAI with the real-time digital authentication of identity can be used in Telangana to renew your license, driving license, on a Sunday, a lot of people were there, a lot of people there were very, very impressed and amused. I don't know how many of you knew you could do it, but for those of you who would want to renew your license, even on a holiday, you can do it using, the, uh, using this facial recognition feature. In Telangana, we also use uh, facial recognition and AI uh, basically to ensure that no pensioner has to go back to a government office to renew their certification. Also, we can use facial recognition to control, of course, uh, you know, in, during uh, law and order situations. You know, Joel alluded to social harmony, the communal harmony in Telangana and the law, efficient law and order. I think one of the things we've done there as well is leverage technology judiciously with, without, of course, intruding into the private space of citizens to ensure that the city and the state remain peaceful and remain calm. We also have used technology in the cases of uh, uh, you know, large-scale gatherings like uh, m you know, the Samakka Saraka Jatara at Medaram, where if a missing person, uh, if a missing child or a missing person has to be traced, we were able to use facial recognition for that, uh, uh, for that kind of uh, an effort as well. So these are all the positive uh, you know, utilizations of technology that the government of Telangana has shown has demonstrated to the rest of India as well. Several major e-governance initiatives were undertaken for se several departments, as I pointed out, including revenue, IGRS, veterinary and animal husbandry, agriculture, education, transport, health, um, BC welfare, Panchayati Raj, planning, the uh, CCLA and housing departments. Friendly electronic services in transport department actually won the best digital technology Sabha award. Uh, 2021 in the artificial intelligence category. The, I think the feature that was mentioned for renewal of driver's license is what uh, won them this award. I'm very proud also that Telangana State Innovation Cell has conducted several events, including the Intinta Innovator Exhibition 2021. We believe in catching our youngsters and innovators at a very young age. Intinta Innovator Gramina Awards for Rural Innovators, Azadi Ki Amrut Mahotsav, Assistive Technology Exhibition 2.0, School Innovation Challenge 2021-22, I2E Lab, Innovation to Entrepreneurship Lab, that is, uh, Social Entrepreneurship Summit Impulse 2022, T Innovation Mahotsav, Village Innovation Challenge, Teacher Innovation Repository, Youth for Social Impact, etc. All of these have been conducted by the TSIC. Now, TSIC is shaping up into something truly uh, you know, unique and truly all-encompassing, rewarding and recognizing our social innovators, rural innovators, young innovators, and innovators even from non-technology spaces. And my compliments to Shanta and the entire team on doing a wonderful job there. Now, T-Hub, as all of you know, probably most of you know, the number of estimated startups in the state have risen from 400, about 400 in 2016, to about 2,000 now. And T-Hub will further boost the growth of this ecosystem. Lab 32, a flagship program of T-Hub for seed accelerator stage, is focused on enabling them to self-sustain and grow. Rubrics, uh, Rubrix, or Rubrix, T-Hub's first ever program on product development was launched in 2021 to support early stage technology startups with ready prototypes in hardware and software. AIC, T-Hub Foundation, a partnership between Atal Innovation Mission and T-Hub, is created to foster a culture of innovation across India by supporting startups in healthcare, mobility, and sustainability sectors. Cinepreneur, a joint program between T-Hub and ME, which is uh, the media and entertainment school, was created to train professionals in the media and entertainment space. T-Hub was also engaged with more than 600 corporates to support their innovation journey. 
The list includes Facebook, Uber, HCL, Boeing, Microsoft, Qualcomm, etc. T-Hub has also forged new partnerships with JK Tech, Maruti Suzuki, Citibank, Renault Nissan, and HCL in the last one year. T-Hub has created several funding initiatives, T-Angel, Digital India Scale-Up Program, T-Fund, and Startup Seed India Fund. T-Hub has partnered with international ecosystem enablers and governments like Redberry Earth Foundation, Digital Catapult, UK Government's Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, Lathrop University, etc. My compliments to Srinivas Garu and the entire team of T-Hub on doing a fabulous job. And I'm also happy and proud to share with you that uh, the new phase of T-Hub, phase two, that brilliant, uh, uh, you know, beautiful looking building that you'd run into in Knowledge City will be launched on the 28th of June, uh, end of this month, uh, this year. I'm very, very, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to invite a uh, lot of startup founders. We're going to celebrate with the startup ecosystem in Hyderabad. One of the questions I keep getting asked is on the unicorns from Hyderabad. I have to confess, while I'm not, uh, you know, as super excited about the number of unicorns currently, we only have four, but I do feel, and I do feel very strongly about this, that uh, many more are around the corner, and you will see uh, some of them popping out of Hyderabad this financial year, and I'm very confident about it. V Hub, India's only women entrepreneurs hub, has created several programs to encourage women and girl children, including girls in STEM and V Alpha. V Hub has been selected as an incubator under the Startup India Seed Fund scheme, and an amount of rupees five crores was sanctioned, out of which four and a half crores has been disbursed to 13 promising startups. V Hub has incubated a startup, Sortizi, that won Google Play's Best of 2021 award in the daily essentials category. And several of VHUB startups have won accolades. My compliments to Deepti Raula and the entire team of VHUB on actually, in fact, every, every time I meet uh, uh, an entrepreneur from uh, uh, other part of the country, I invite them, I actually urge them to pay a visit to VHUB, T-Hub, and uh, understand how well these two institutions have shaped up over the last few years. Now, T-Works is another extremely exciting opportunity which will be unveiled uh, in this, in the, in sometime during this year. T-Works has designed, I think possibly in August, uh, we are looking to inaugurate this, has designed several innovative products, including a custom PCB for a mobile charging solution, development of an automated quilling tool, et cetera, for helping rural innovators. I may have confused you a bit. T-Works is already running from a makeshift premises, but a, a full-scale 1,20,000 square foot uh, facility would be unveiled in August this year. T-Hub, T-Works, which, uh, which already has a very promising team, has been doing great work in partnership with, uh, they've partnered with ICFAI, MSME, uh, NSIC, NSTI, CITD, CCMB, LVPEI, NIFT, and ICRISAT. Lots of acronyms there. To expand collaboration opportunities. T-Works has onboarded uh, Mauser Electronics for providing support for the procurement of high-end prototyping equipment in the electronics test and measurement fields. T-Works has also designed and developed an affordable oxygen concentrator during the pandemic, which can filter out oxygen from the ambient air and deliver more than 90% pure oxygen to the patients in need. GE Appliances assembled five concentrators with training from T-Works and were donated to the needy during the pandemic. My compliments to Sujai Karampuri and the entire team of T-Works on doing a fabulous job uh, you know, uh, in, with, the, with the kind of limited resources you've had. Once we launch T-Works, the full-time, you know, uh, full-scale full, full scale facility, you'll see a lot more impactful work from T-Works as well. Now, Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge, TASK, is another institution which we're very proud of. It's partnering with 718 colleges across the state of Telangana, which includes engineering, degree, MCA, MBA, and polytechnic institutions. 30,000 new students have registered with TASC in the last academic year. A total of 2,000 faculty were trained in various technical and soft, soft skills. Training the trainer is one of uh, TASC's mandates, and they have done really well on that as well. A total of 1,7,000 students have been skilled through TASC in the last one year alone. Several new partners are associated with TASC, including Google Cloud, IBM Open P-Tech, Salesforce, Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems, Cisco, Infosys, Mahindra Pride Classroom, 
Safran Electrical and Power India, ARM University, Google Kotlin, ISRO, NR, NRSC, Nagaro, Clusters AI, Oracle Academy, Amazon Web Services, etc. Task has run 129 job melas and placement drives and generated 16,912 job openings and placed a uh, lot of students in the ESDM sector over the last one year. Um, to be precise, 6,213 6, students placed last one year alone. Task has also won outstanding youth transformation initiatives by Indie Global Media Network at their India Global Education and Skills Summit 2021. They have also won the Global Ignite 2021 Excellence Award. My compliments to Shrikant Sinha and the entire team of Task on a fabulous job, and I hope that we continue to do even better. In electronic sector, Radiant Appliances and Electronics has set up a manufacturing unit for LED TVs with a capacity of 25 lakh per annum. 25 lakh televisions per annum, employing 2,800 people in the ECT EMC, electronic manufacturing cluster. Premier Engines, Engines has set up a solar manufacturing plant in ECT. CCESDM approved 60 proposals last year with an investment commitment of 6,000, so 2,700 crores, an employment generation potential of nearly 11,300 people in the, in the year 2021-22. Um, electronics and T-Fiber, another very important initiative, um, is also ongoing because of COVID. It had slowed down a bit, but out of a total scope of 22,298 kilometers, 17,328 kilometers has been completed. And out of a total scope of 425 lit up completed mandals, 404 mandals has been completed. T-Fiber has received the letter of intent from the Department of Telecom granting universal license for access services. A list of 97,115 government institutions has been compiled for connectivity. We will be completing the project despite COVID and despite all the uh, setbacks we've had. But we will be completing this project this year for sure. My compliments again to uh, you know, Sujai, who heads both T-Fiber and uh, Electronics Department as well. SoftNet, again, is, uh, has become an extremely important, uh, has played an extremely important role in the pandemic, in reaching out uh, through our digital medium in terms of education to students. They have partnered with the Department of School Education, Women and Child Welfare Development, a Board of Intermediate Education for transmitting a global, you know, for transmitting digital lessons for the school children. TSAT has telecast several lessons for guidance to group aspirants with Government of Telangana announcing uh, recruitment for more than 80,000 jobs. TSAT has an even more important role to play with their YouTube content and with their uh, Vidya and Nipuna channels that have been doing a great job. TSAT has telecast interactive programs even for farmers such as Raitu Mitra for, the, for their benefit and Arogya Mitra for live and interactive advice from doctors to healthcare professionals and citizens. What is extremely impressive about TSAT is TSAT user base has increased to 36 lakhs from 23 lakhs a year before and 14.95 crore views have been achieved on the TSAT YouTube channel last year. My compliments to Shailesh Redigaru and the entire team of TSAT. I think you guys have done a great job. I think uh, you know the pandemic has really shown us the usefulness of TSAT and digital mediums to further, uh, you know, take further our initiatives on education. But there's a lot more ground to be covered. We also have to start looking at uh, not only the job opportunities in the state of Telangana but also for civil services, possibly for union government recruitments, railway recruitments, and other staff selection commissions and others as well. So let's start gearing up for that. Digital media, in fact, uh, the digital media division is one of the most active divisions in the, dip in, the, in the state of Telangana in IT department. Division has been created and maintained social media handles uh, for several ministers, including chief minister and mine handle also. Digital media division has created portals for several departments including the Telangana State Commission for Women, Telangana Sports School, International Arbitration and Mediation Center, etc. Digital Media Wing has been selected for the Public Relations Council of India, PRCI, Chanakya Award for the second year in a row. My compliments to Dilip Konatam, the Director of Digital Media, and his entire team on doing a fabulous job. On open data, 1,423 data sets from various departments have been made available in the open data portal on varied areas and subjects. 
Many of these data sets are updated up to most granular level every month. More than 70% of the departments have made at least one data set available on the open data portal. Several prestigious projects have been run using the data made, data made available on the open data platform, including the World Economic Forum, the UNDP Food System Project, and the Agri Collaboratory, where commodity prices are being accessed. Uh, again, Dilip Konatham and his team run this open data uh, pla platform. My compliments to them. On Photonic, Photonics Valley Corporation, which was an initiative of the government of Telangana, we've launched what is called as a T-phase Telangana Fabless Accelerator through cloud enablement, an incubation program designed to support the startups in Fabless, VLSI, chip design activity. It was inaugurated in 2021. Fifteen promising startups are enrolled as part of this program. So these are broadly, at a very high level, at a very macro level, the number of initiatives that the government has taken over the last one year alone, and I'm not even going into the last seven years. If you go back into last eight years, I think uh, I can possibly, you know, read out for another hour or so because there's so many initiatives. But uh, what I would like to once again repeat and reiterate, we are not resting on laurels. We are not content on being number two in the country. We are giving uh, the premier destinations in India in terms of technology a run for their money. We have, in fact, every report uh, released by CBRE, JLL, Cushman and others clearly shows that Hyderabad has been beating every single city in the country in terms of office space absorption. And I, th I think thanks primarily to the IT industry for the large scale growth that they've had in the city over the last couple of last few years, particularly even in the midst of the pandemic. I think that has contributed to a lot of office space absorption. That has also created a great deal of demand for affordable homes and even luxury homes. And as, 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 as a part of that growth story, in fact, uh, Credi and other institutions that I keep talking to have been telling me that this city and its potential is being recognized by the rest of the country. We have developers from all over India coming and investing in Telangana, coming and investing in Hyderabad. And I assure you that the government is not going to rest on its laurels. Our appetite to do more, our passion to deliver more, our passion to not just prove a point to ourselves, you know, because we fought really hard for this state. It's not just a point that we have to prove to ourselves, but also to the rest of the country that a new state like Telangana, which has been doing exceedingly well, if a new state can do so much, I think the rest of the country also should take a lot of pride, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a sense of, uh, I'd say, competition can be inculcated by way of our achievements. And together with the other states, other ecosystems, we can actually build a very strong country. Uh, I'd just like to say a few things in Telugu quickly, I think, uh, for the consumption of uh, my friends from Telugu media here. Gata Samatram, Mana Rashtra, Haiti Rangani Mirtiskona Tete, Okadbutamaina, Purogatini Manu Sadin Sagalgamu, Manu Irovayaru Shatam, Irovayaru Point, Okati Nalu Shatam, Vrudireto, Haiti Rangalo, Okalaksha, Yenabai Muduvela, Idu and the Laravetumi, the Kotla. IT Egumatloko Cherko Galgam. Bharata Desha Saga to choose in a tete, Kevalam Padihed Shata Matrame, Rudre Tunte, Telangana Lo, Irovayaru Point Okati Nalu Shata Mundu Vanez Nijangaguda, Manandranguda Garbapadal Snaus Rundi, Man IT Industry Kimukyanga, Nen Rude Purukovena, Abinanal Telejas Town and the Kante Varu, Vari participation to Vari Bhagaswamento, Vari active involvement to Nej Sadiman. Mukyanga Gurtupetko the Gavishame Vante, E. Rudre Irovayaru Point Okati Nalu Vedetan and mentioned Jesnano. Adi e pandemic Madillo, and a man of Covid Rendo wave good among Gatasamatra Maprilo Jusnam. Avani Adigaminchi, Aurosa Lani Adigaminchi. Mari, Manamira Kumen of Rudirate Sadin Chermanidi, Nejanga Guda Karvakarnam. Tanto Patu Okasari, Mana last year numbers choosing at Taite Okalaksha, Nalabhi Tumi, the Vela Paichilku, Kota Udiogal, IT Rangalo, Pratek Shanga, and Tada Pokalaksha Yabhevela, Kota Udiogalu, Oka Samatrum Poin, Oka Samatrum Lone, Ochna, IT Rangalo, Danto Patu. Manu Chusna Taite, Manu Mur Renduela Padnalgu, Rastram Air Padanatki, Natik Okasar numbers choose Kunte, Renduela Padnalgulo, Anadu, Yabahe Duela, Renduana Yabahe and the Kotla Egumatlunde, Telangana Nunch, Irozu, Laksha and Abai Muduela, Iduan the Laravetum with Kotlante, Muduan the Shatan Kante, Kua, Retlu, Rudiman of Sadin Chigalinam, and a Mud Retla Kante Paichil Kuperinam, Chal Santosh Karmidi, Tantopatu, Anadu, Renduela Padnalgulo, 
ఐటీ రంగంలో ప్రత్యక్షంగా మూడు లక్షల ఇరవై మూడు వేల మూడు వందల తొంభై ఏడు మంది పనిచేసేవాళ్ళు ఈరోజు ఏడు లక్షల డెబ్బై ఎనిమిది వేలు అంటే దాదాపు ఎనిమిది లక్షల మంది ఐటీ రంగంలో ప్రత్యక్షంగా పనిచేస్తూ ఉండడం అనేది అందులో డెఫినెట్గా మనందరికీ గర్వకారణం ఎందుకంటే ఈ రంగం వృద్ధి రేటు ఈ రంగంలో వస్తున్న గ్రోత్ చూసినట్టయితే తెలంగాణ ఎంత వేగంగా ఎదుగుతున్నది హైదరాబాద్ ఎంత వేగంగా ఎదుగుతున్నది గమనించవచ్చు దాన్ని బట్టి ఒక బేరీజ్ వేయవచ్చు దీంతోపాటు హైదరాబాద్ బయట కూడా హైదరాబాద్లోనే కాకుండా వరంగల్ లాంటి పట్టణంలో కూడా ఈరోజు టెక్ వేవ్ అనే కంపెనీ క్వాడ్రంట్ అనే కంపెనీ అదే మాదిరిగా మన సాయంట్ టెక్ మహీంద్ర అదేవిధంగా మైండ్ ట్రీ జెన్ ప్యాక్ లాంటి కంపెనీస్ వరంగల్లో కూడా విస్తరిస్తూ ఉన్నాయి సాఫ్ట్ ప్యాత్ అనే కంపెనీ విస్తరిస్తూ ఉంది దీంతోపాటు ఖమ్మంలో కూడా టెక్ వేవ్ వాళ్ళ క్యాంపస్ పెట్టుకోబోతూ ఉన్నారు కరీంనగర్లో ఎక్లాట్ అనే కంపెనీ తమ సంస్థను విస్తరిస్తూ ఉంది ఈ రకంగా ద్వితీయ శ్రేణి పట్టణాలుగా ఏవైతే మనం చెప్పుకుంటామో ఆ పట్టణాల్లో కూడా కరీంనగర్ వరంగల్లు ఖమ్మము మహబూబ్ నగర్ నల్లగొండ సిద్దిపేట ఆదిలాబాద్ రామగుండం నిజామాబాద్ ఇవన్నీ పట్టణాల్లో కూడా ఈ సంవత్సరం గణనీయమైన పురోగతి మనం చూడబోతా ఉన్నాం రాబోయే ఐదేళ్లలో ద్వితీయ శ్రేణి పట్టణాల నుంచి కూడా ఒక యాభై వేల ఐటీ ఉద్యోగాలు సృష్టించాలనే లక్ష్యం ఏదైతే ప్రభుత్వం పెట్టుకుందో ఆ దిశగా మన ప్రయాణం చక్కగా ప్రారంభమైంది తప్పకుండా నాకు సంపూర్ణమైన విశ్వాసం ఉంది ఆ దిశగా మీ అందరి చొరవతో మీ అందరి ఆదరాభిమానాలతో మీ అందరి ప్రోత్సాహంతో ఆ మైలురాయిని కూడా అధిగమిస్తామని విశ్వాసం ఉంది బట్ వీఆర్ నాట్ కంటెంట్ అంటే ఈ సాధించిన విజయాలతో పొంగిపోకుండా సాధించిన విజయాలతో సంబరపడకుండా మరింత పురోగతిని మరింత ఉపాధిని తెలంగాణ యువత కోసం సృష్టించాలనే లక్ష్యం ఏదైతే గౌరవం ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారు మాకు నిర్దేశించారో దానికి అనుగుణంగానే హైదరాబాద్లో బహుముఖంగా విస్తరించే ప్రయత్నం చేస్తూ ఉన్నాం కొంపల్లిలోని గేట్వే ఐటీ టవర్ కానీ అదే మాదిరిగా ఉప్పల్లో జెన్ ప్యాక్ట్ వారు నెలకొల్పుతున్న రెండు పాయింట్ రెండు మిలియన్ అంటే ఇరవై రెండు లక్షల స్క్వేర్ ఫుట్ల క్యాంపస్ కానీ ఇవన్నీ కూడా నగరం బహుముఖంగా విస్తరించడానికి పశ్చిమ భాగంలో ఉండే ఐటీ రంగం మరి మిగతా ఏరియాస్ కూడా విస్తరించడానికి కూడా దోహదపడుతుందని బలంగా విశ్వసిస్తూ దాంతోపాటు ద్వితీయ శ్రేణి పట్టణాలకు కూడా ఐటీ రంగాన్ని ముందుకు తీసుకెళ్లే బాధ్యతను కూడా ప్రభుత్వం స్వీకరిస్తుంది బలంగా ఆ ప్రయత్నం చేస్తుందని చెప్పి కూడా తెలియజేస్తూ సాంకేతిక పరిజ్ఞానం సామాన్యుడికి ఉపయోగపడకపోతే అది నిష్ఫలం అనే గౌరవ ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారి మాట ఏదైతే ఉందో దాన్నే తారక మంత్రంలా తీసుకొని ముందుకు పోతూ అన్ని రంగాల్లో కూడా మన అన్ని రంగాల్లో అన్ని లైన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్లో కూడా ప్రభుత్వంలో ఉండే ప్రతి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఏదైతే సిటిజన్తో ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఉండే డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఉంటుందో ఆ డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో కూడా సాంకేతిక పరిజ్ఞానాన్ని వినియోగించి సామాన్యుడికి సాంకేతిక ఫలాలు సాంకేతికత ఫలాలు అందాలనే ఒక బలమైన ప్రయత్నాన్ని ప్రభుత్వం కొనసాగిస్తుంది అని తెలియజేస్తూ మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి నా బృందం మా ఆఫీసర్స్ బృందం మా టీం ఏదైతే ఉందో ఆ జయేష్ రంజన్ గారి నేతృత్వంలో ఉన్న టీం కానీ అదేవిధంగా తెలంగాణలోని ఐటీ రంగం మొత్తం దానికి సారథ్యం వహిస్తున్న ఐసీఆ కానీ నాస్కామ్ కానీ ఇతర సంస్థలు కానీ వారందరికీ మనస్ఫూర్తిగా హృదయపూర్వకంగా నా ధన్యవాదాలు నమస్కారాలు జై తెలంగాణ